Welcome to another <clears throat> Jesse Rosinski show short and as a precursor. This one's going to be on my personal Jesse Rosinski channel on YouTube because those cocksuckers still have me under a ban for something I said over a year ago that doesn't contradict anything, but they go after me and no one else. But did you hear about everything going on with the raid at Mar-a-Lago? Don't have a lot <clears throat> to say because they haven't given us a lot, but if you go back through a lot of their actions the last couple of years, I mean, it sadly becomes pretty obvious, a lot of it. And there it is behind me if you're watching the video. You've never seen it before. There's one angle of Mar-a-Lago. <clears throat> like what they're going to get out of it, how they know, you know the alleged 15 boxes were missing. They were supposed to be left behind or any of that. And the real question, like, how they get all the warrants? How do they keep getting all these high priority warrants for him being, you know, President, you know, Trump, and all that? Whenever they need FISA warrants, this like everything. Why haven't I been able to find the said search warrant online? It's kind of amazing because a lot of them get released really, really fast. But <clears throat> really, I mean, their end game is just to keep going after him, obviously. I mean, that's clear as day, the purpose of it all. But, you know, it's amazing. If you look back through the years, like all the stuff they let go, which is why this isn't going to accomplish anything. The only thing that they're accomplishing with that is pissing off his base more. I mean, his base is, go you know, their base is going, oh, see, I told you. No matter what, I haven't stared at their coverage. I imagine it kind of hurts one's head. But, you know, that's all they're saying. They're spewing it left, right, and indifferently. Last night, yeah, I didn't really see a lot of people. I mean, they were talking about it, but they still talk about everything else because nothing came out. So I don't see the point in any of this. Yeah, you know, I mean, just like the impeachment on January 6th, it was proven. He, he did try to get help. Mariel Bowser turned it down. That was beforehand. They impeached him for the speech, even though they knew it was coming, because I knew it was coming. Not because I'm a crazy QAnon person or anything like that, as people put it, because I know people that work there and they knew it was coming. They still did that. Like, this is just another one after him. And again, people on the right, <clears throat> no matter what, will never see it. And they'll never be able to believe that any of this stuff was actually there if they do find anything. Like, that's the problem with how they've built all of this up. And other things, you know, like, we're still waiting on stuff to happen from, for example, you know, like when that guy was in office behind me there, <clears throat> that'd be Obama. Sorry for the hack. I think someone gave me the plague again so my throat has a pretty severe tickle in it but that guy was president look at all the stuff that happened under obama and everyone can try to like deny 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 but a lot happened when he was in charge that no one ever did anything for. no one got raided hell people were getting like i don't know what they were getting exonerated of everything in an investigation before the investigation actually happened. And guess what? That's actually been proven too for all the people on the left that want to argue that one. And him <clears throat> and this guy, Eric Holder, when he was DOJ, I mean, just look at, let's just go with one example, Fast and Furious. You know, they sold drugs to, I mean, guns to drug cartels, and then they were used to kill Border Patrol agents. Like, that's just one thing. And they had lot of scandals during that whole entire time and no one got held accountable for anything when i mentioned you know hillary getting off you know without doing anything, that guy was in charge of the fbi that'd be james comey who was worthless but then let's get into her which you know putting her on the screen probably puts a target on my back according to most crazy people even though well look at how many associates she's lost it's just weird um <clears throat> look at all that though again apologize they got me with something limey, miserable. At least I know who gave it to me. So I know who to be mean to. But Hillary, I mean, if we're going to get technical, I mean, look at Benghazi. And all we got out of that was what difference does it make, even though they were requesting help for months and months. They needed more security. And then to this day, there's still people going around saying it was a spontaneous thing and people believe it. You know, and they couldn't get a hold of her, anyone, to make any decision on any of that, even after they asked, for help that got washed away again her email server that got hacked by the russians and they've now all their her own lawyers and all that in her campaign admitted it that they're doing the whole trump thing to you know 
and I take some heat off of Hillary. But she wasn't supposed to have that server and have all that stuff in her basement. And then there was a federal subpoena, I believe, that said, give us all of it. And then they whitewashed it all and destroyed it. So they couldn't turn anything over to be as useful. And she got to run for president. So, you know, just stating facts before anyone gets butthurt. I am not down a rabbit hole. These are all real things that really happened. And again, this guy, Mr. James Comey, did write the letter to exonerate her before they started doing anything. And that, that's been proven if you actually look up all the documents from everything that everyone said. But again, <clears throat> if people went on about Uranium One or anything, just Benghazi, the people we lost because of all their incompetence. And again, those hard drives that she had that got hacked. You know, it's really kind of amazing when you think about it. It really, really is that they completely got away with all of that. <clears throat> and then this guy, while he was running all the stuff that was coming out about Joe Biden and his family, and especially that guy behind me, Hunter Biden. I mean, they've had his laptop for what, since 2020? If not earlier, I don't remember. Off the top of my head. I think it was 2020. You know, they had that. And this whole time, and now pretty much everything has been confirmed, literally by even the Washington Post and a lot of people that got their hands on it. It's all been confirmed except for the stuff that involved the big guy. They can't confirm that. Shocker. But that's all been confirmed. There's, you know, shady dealings and using his influence to get money from people like China and Russian oligarchs and stuff. Like, that's all proven. Remember when he lied on a federal background check form to get a handgun? And then his girlfriend dumped it in a trash can across from a school, which, look, I mean, all of that's just all bad right there in federal crimes. He's not even like they've done nothing to him with years of evidence and all that now officially confirmed and blown up, but they're not going after him and putting a search warrants on Hunter's door. They're not going after Hillary and everything she's done for that stuff. Not going after anything. Eric Holder was in charge of anything that Comey did all the stuff that happened. They just, again, continue to go after this guy because that's all this guy really is just to demonize him, his followers, his anything, which is why they got the search warrant again there for Mar-a-Lago, and I'm kind of still pissed that I haven't been able to find it. Maybe it wasn't looking good enough because, well, I feel like dead body, but, you know, it's just ridiculous. Again, how many things did I just name off that are all really big federal crimes and problems? They all got off and no one's even looking at it, but they're going after this and going after him, just like they always have, like after he was out of office. And they failed an impeachment. They went and passed a bunch of bills to try to make it so... If you're twice impeached, you can't run again, or he can't run again at all to remove his names from uh, buildings and monuments and anything. Like, it's just an attack on him. And their whole purpose, I guess, is to say, we got him. But all it's going to do is piss off people that don't like the Democrats or his supporters even more to go out and do stuff. Like, vote. Because there's been a lot of his people that he's endorsed that have won. Yet they keep just poking the bear i love the phrase i keep telling everyone don't poke the bear my ex-wife said well you seem to be in a better place well that's because no one's poking the bear every day and just trying to piss me off you know it's just <clears throat> amazing how they think this is going to get anywhere because it's not it's just going to embolden everyone on that side even more because of people like you know comey holder hillary hunter like that all got away with legit federal crimes that have been going on since well before trump left office that no one bats an eye about or gives a damn about but yet they have the time to put out search warrants on him to do no knocks on Rudy Giuliani in the middle of the night to do all of that stuff. It just shows you really what it is. Like I keep saying about Brittany Griner, I know I don't you know, try to make any posts about it, but that's the real privilege here. Leftist, crazy, liberal, progressive, you know, those people, like that's where the privilege is in the country. I mean, if we got hit with the DUI as big as Bruce Springsteen's, we wouldn't have just got a little fine and no jail time and said, see you later. We would have got fisted. The book would have been thrown at us. The Fed told me to give them a server. I'd be gone for a very long time if I destroyed it. Same with giving mm -hmm. guns to cartels that killed federal agents or lying on federal background checks forms or Benghazi or let's say Brittany Griner. Mm -hmm. You know, having the drugs in Russia. We all know are illegal. What there's been <clears throat> that report, I believe, that's been there since like August. No one, you know, last August, no one says a word about that because they're not famous. So no one gives a damn. They're not making house resolutions to save people like that or me or talking about trading the angel of death or anyone else over to these people because, you know, last time 
Biden was in any form of power. It worked out really good who they traded to get Bergdahl back. I mean, that worked out fantastic. Remember, they're all going to go be farmers and with their sick family because they're dying. And I'm pretty sure three of the four of them helped you know, run the invasion to run right through Iraq for the Taliban and are now in charge. So congratulations. That one worked out great for a guy that literally left his post. Again, read the things for all the Druze out there that say, you should read a word, a completely different story when it comes out of his mouth. Yeah, he can say whatever he wants. OJ said he didn't do it. And I'm pretty sure everyone on the planet is like, no, nah, he really did it. Like, so he can say whatever the hell he wants. Doesn't mean it's actually true. Just saying. But this is just another one of those things. It just proves where the privilege is. No matter what you do on the left, you're good and they have your back. If you're on the right, they go after you for everything, especially if you make yourself an enemy. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Again, YouTube, Rumble, Facebook, Twitter. <clears throat> Apple Google Podcast, Spotify, Good Pods, and this one's going up on my personal Jesse Rosinski YouTube page because they banned the other one still for another couple of days. So be good to each other, share it out. Let me know what you think, and until next time, peace.